So we've been through the games and now it's time to get on to the tools which can be categorized more as real type and practice with kind of game like elements. So I thought about doing these uh, last two or three videos all in one squashed into one episode but then I realized it'd be way too long so I'm going to do it Peter Jackson style. On this episode of Game Type we'll take a look at 10 Fast Fingers. So 10 Fast Fingers is a pretty well known uh, site and it comes up a lot when people uh, talk about recommendations for how to improve typing. If you watch people like Rhino Feed, uh, you'll see that he uses it in the end of his videos for typing practice and it's, it's just one that's recommended a lot. It's really easy to jump into, uh, you don't have to make an account if you want to just do some quick typing practice. But like most of the other ones in this series, it really does help if you make an account and then you can track your progress. 10 Fast Fingers also lets you customize the word list used for typing practice. The list can be randomized if you separate the words with pipe symbols. It can't be saved on the site though. You can also make your own custom text that can be saved and shared, but those can't be randomized each time. You can try custom text shared by other users and favorite those for future use too. There's a top 1000 mode in which you try to unlock the top 1000 words in your chosen language. You need to reach 50 words per minute to unlock the next level. I wouldn't call these lessons since you don't get advice from the level of a complete beginner learning about where to put your fingers. Starting with the most common words, you'll ease through into typing real words right from the start. 10 Fast Fingers also has a multiplayer option which is very much in the early stages of development and can't really be recommended at this point as it takes a bit of a long time to load and it doesn't save your progress. It's also only available in English. You're much better off going to Type Racer or NitroType if it's competition you want. If you decide to support the site through Patreon, you can enjoy an ad-free experience as well as access to some uh, new features and also the advanced typing test. I like the look of 10 Fast Fingers and I also like that the text is big enough for me to see it easily and the buttons are clear and simple. The word you're typing rather than the letter is highlighted and changes to red if you make a mistake. I wish I could change the size of the window as I find that when I get to the bottom I'm waiting for a split second to find the next word. 10 Fast Fingers is not really much fun for stat lovers. Your profile page only shows you your lowest, highest and average typing speeds. You can also see your achievements unlocked through typing tests and practice. If I missed any important things about 10 Fast Fingers then please let me know and if you've tried it then let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next episode.